What is the best laptop for programming? If you are starting out in the world of programming or really any technical job, I'm sure you have come across this question as well. It can be so overwhelming because there is so much to choose from and there's a lot to consider. It's not just about mobility, it's about speed, comfort, um, and so much more. I could spend literally an hour talking about everything to consider. However, in this video, we are going to break down some of the best laptops on the market right now for programming. This is based on my experience as a software developer as well as other people's in the industry that I have done my research and really collected all the best laptops for you so you don't have to. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to dive into this topic today because it is a question I get asked a lot. Before we do so though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you as always for your questions, comments, feedback, and just so much love. You know I love you all so, so much. Okay, let's get started. We're going to dive in and start right from some of the best laptops for programming. This is not necessarily a list from the number one the best to the least, but more so just a list of all the ones that are really uh, considered to be the top computers for programming. First on the list is HP Spectra X360. This has been considered in so many different articles, so many different people who have researched it to be the best overall laptop for programming. I'm going to throw up some of the specifications for this computer on the screen here so you can really take in what it all entails. Some other reasons that you should buy this laptop or consider buying it not only does this laptop look amazing on the outside from this sleek new design, but also too on the inside, it is equally as amazing and strong. The battery life is up to 12 hours. It's thin, light, and portable, especially important for anyone who is going into office or school. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the specs. This laptop is 11th generation Intel Core processors, amazing graphics, and also too, it has impeccable two-in-one design. Okay, next on the list is kind of controversial for anyone who is hardcore against Mac, but sometimes Apple makes some really good MacBooks, especially now with their new Apple MacBook Pro Air that has the M1 chip. This kind of changed the game when it came to Apple computers for programmers. I'll throw up some specs here, but as you can see for this computer, they have now integrated it with the M1 chip. Other reasons to buy this computer, it has 11 hours of battery life, it's super lightweight and very sleek, not to mention it makes absolutely no noise uh, when you are programming. Unless you are running Android Studio, then that's a different story. Coming in at number three is Microsoft Surface Book 2. Microsoft has been known for many years for their powerful two-in-ones and this is exactly just that. I'll throw up some specifications here for you to see this powerful laptop. It is perfect for anyone, especially if you are someone who is going back to school um, and kind of wants a two-in-one, or if you are even in the office, it's really amazing. I'm sharing with you the 13 and a half inch model, but there is a 15 inch if you are someone who likes to code on a bigger screen, or maybe you are someone who doesn't necessarily have um, monitors and you just want a bigger screen overall. Coming in at number four is the Lenovo X1 Extreme Laptop. This is an amazing, powerful computer, but the price tag also reflects that. I'll throw up some of the specifications here for you. Also too, one thing to note that I really like that this laptop offers is there's multiple configuration options. At its basic, it is already so powerful, packed with solid graphics card in a robust carbon fiber and aluminum package that will survive any office or any field, which is key, especially these days as we are commuting. Coming in at number five is the Asus Chromebook Flip. I'll throw up some of the specifications here for you to look at. Another great thing about this option is that it's more affordable than a lot of the computers we have spoken about today. It has great performance, premium build and features, and it's thin and lightweight. The Asus Chromebook Flip is a great option, especially for web developers out there who are looking for a powerful machine. There are so many more laptops on the market that I could keep on going through. This video would be so long, but I really wanted to make it simple and easy for you that when you clicked on this video, you could go through the top five laptops out there for programmers. There's tons of other top ones, so please don't come at me if you don't use one of these computers. Uh, and most importantly, I want to kind of spend a few minutes here highlighting what to look for. So if you aren't going to choose one of these computers, things that you should keep in mind when you are searching for a laptop. The first one being RAM and memory. 
The amount of memory or RAM that your laptop has is so important. It supports the hard drive on your computer, stores some of the key information that your laptop needs in order to function correctly. Another key thing to look for when you are searching for your next laptop is CPU. Just like you can't function without your brain, a laptop can't function without CPU. It deals with a lot of information and for this reason, you need to make sure your laptop has a good CPU. You should be looking for a high quality processor when you are on the hunt for the perfect laptop for yourself. You should get a laptop with around an i5 or i7 processor at the very minimum if you want the best possible functionality. Keyboard, something that a lot of us don't take into consideration, especially because oftentimes we aren't actually using the laptop's keyboard. However, if you are someone who will be using the laptop's keyboard, this is something to keep in mind as well. Make sure to do your research on reviews of the keyboard and really how it stacks up against others. Other things to keep in mind are hard drive, battery life, graphics, especially if you are doing some graphic design or some front end work. These are all so important things to keep in mind. And when you are making that purchase, make sure to go through the different specifications that it offers as well. Read reviews, just I can't stress that enough. Although reviews aren't accurate 100% of the time, making uh, some time out of your day when you are searching to look at reviews can really help with your next purchase. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and valuable when you are going to be on the hunt for your next laptop. Leave in the comments other computers or laptops that you love uh, for programming. I'm very curious to hear what your favorites are. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.